I change space time to space memory because I feel that um, space memory is more precise um, because no memory, no time. If you didn't remember the second before, you can't tell that there is an evolution of state, you know, and, and and so you can't say, you know, there's a linear time because you don't remember what happened just before. Would right? you not say that the time could still exist, though, irrespective of our experience of it? To the experience, I suppose, of other, yeah, other things. I'm just talking about your experience just to give you an yeah. example. Um, but but uh, but the mechanics are the same for the universe outside of your experience of time, meaning that evolution in the universe, if it happens and we see it on our planet, it seems to happen, um, m means that it has remembered what was before. So that information on the structure of space is the memory imprint. And, and at each coordinates you get a memory imprint is like the steel of a movie uh, strip that, that you're playing, right? And it appears like linear time, but in fact, it's just stills, right? It's the same thing. Each point along the timeline is just an imprint in the coordinates in space of information. It's a memory of information as an imprint, like just like memory on the hard disk, okay? And so the earth is spinning around the sun and the sun is moving through the galaxy. And basically everything that's happening is leaving an imprint on the structure of space on the zero point energy as it exchange information and produce all this and, it, and memory, even in your memory, in your mind, is actually not in there. It's you accessing the information in the hard disk, what the ancient called the Akashic record of space, right? And so that time is really a concept of man, uh, but actually the universe is just doing memory in coordinates in space. So I, 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 yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That that's I just mind blowing. It's and that was actually very concise. So thank you for <laughs> my pleasure for that. Yeah, I want to unpack that more in the future with you for sure. Another thing that I just find mind blowing when looking into your work is this idea of nested realities or a multiverse. Uh, so if from the microcosm to the macrocosm, we observe how different parts emerge to grander holes in this kind of complexity theory, it is reasonable to extrapolate that our universe could be one of many inside of a multiverse. And so I'm just curious what thoughts you have on the possibility of that. Yeah, I, uh, I you know, I don't, I don't like the, the terminology parallel universe because they're not parallel. I don't think they're parallel. I think they're concentric to each other like nested within one nested another. like uh russian dolls mm -hmm. and and certainly the scaling equations i'm writing show that uh, and, and the nest the nesting is um it um means that the, as well there is coupling from one scale to the other Right, the scale that's inside is influencing uh, the larger scale, and the larger scale is influencing the scale. That, this coupling across the scales, and so they're all interdependent on each other. Um, and so, uh, I think that is most likely much more accurate of how, and it's really the thought I had when I was ten. And so, um, I. Um, I, I, I really truly believe that there is no size um, limit to the universe, to the multiverse, and that like the embeddedness can go to infinity and that there's no size limit to how small the pixels of the universe can be. And so there's truly no size limit to the infinitely small. And so 
and and so uh, physicists would say, well, then how are you going to write physics on that? And it, it's because you can identify scales, like for instance, you s in our universe, you could say, I'm going to cut off at the Planck scale, right? And at the universal scale. And so now I'm going to understand what's in there. And since it's replicating like a fractal, if I understand one part, I will understand the whole. And that's how you end up studying the proton and figuring out the mass of the universe, right? And figuring out how the, the temperature of the universe, uh, you know, it's uh, angular momentum, it's angular dynamics, and so on. So the reason I don't like parallel is because it's, it's like if they were parallel, then they never connect. They're, you know, they're not in relationship with yeah. each other, where I think they're absolutely in relationship. With yeah, because everything is in relationship. So yeah. that could make that would make sense.